This man rang the bell to remind everyone in town to go home before it became dark. This girl just got home, locked the door, then touched the stone. They were used to closing their doors before it became dark, then touched the strangely shaped stone next to the door. This man was so drunk that he lost consciousness. Even though his wife was waiting at home, it was getting dark but he still hadn't come back. Then she scolded him. She closed the door and pulled the curtains everywhere. Her daughter was getting ready for bed. After that, she heard someone knocking on the door. Megan, it's me. Go to the window. After thinking about it, she still went to the window and opened it. An old woman with a strange smile was standing outside the window. At this moment, her mother entered the room and said, that's not her grandmother. The old woman said she was very lonely, so can she let her in the room? The woman shouted not to open the door, but it was too late. She immediately showed her true form. The next morning, the man came home. His neighbors were standing in front of his house. Stevens gave him a slap and blamed why did he have a baby but he didn't fix the window. Then dragged him to the house, he should protect his family. Did he protect his loved ones like this? His wife and child were trouble. Then he cried loudly in regret. Stephen told his subordinates to lock him up. Victor's family was going to travel. Their time was so much fun. Suddenly a tree branch blocked on the road. At the same time, there were many crows around. They felt strange, so they quickly returned to the car and found another way. They drove to a small town and saw that all the cars there had punctured tires. They gradually moved forward. A group of people were looking at Victor's family. Victor got out of the car and asked them, but no one noticed him. Only Stevens noticed. Victor asked which way to get to the highway. Stephen asked him again if he was going with his family. He replied yes. After that, Stephen told them to just go forwards. Victor thanked and left, and he looked at them with weird eyes. Victor's family immediately left, but they discovered that they had just passed this place. His daughter felt scared. At this time a girl appeared. He stopped to ask for directions but she didn't say anything, and left. They could only go forward and discussed whether they weren't paying attention, so they returned here. When Victor felt worried, he saw the warehouse he had gone through, so his wife was confused because they just passed this place. He quickly turned the car around. Stephen thought the right time had come. They spreaded the carpet of nails on the main road. As long as Victor's family came back, they will go through there. Looking at how they work, it's definitely not the first time. His family was returning to the old road. A car appeared in front of them. Suddenly it accelerated. He can only change direction. Finally, they got an accident on the road. Victor was hit by a tree branch. His wife was also in a coma. His daughter could only move slightly, but his son was seriously injured. Victor was bewildered and wanted to quickly leave, but he couldn't. The driver in another car got out and vomited. When he ran to find the police, and found Steve setting a nail trap on the ground. After hearing the news of accident, he quickly ran to the situation. Because it's only two hours until it got dark, the driver was taken to a nearby clinic. After checking his injuries, the doctor immediately handed him over to a nurse, then went to the accident site with the police. After they left, a girl came to take care of the driver. He said that due to he was too excited, then she comforted him not to be his fault. Then she put the knife to his neck and gave him a blow. Stephen arrived at the scene, he discovered a man with a panicked spirit standing next to the car. He handcuffed the man and told him to wait for help, then went to the stuck car to check the status of Victor's family. The rescue team has also arrived, the doctor immediately came to check on him. He had no problem. At this time, the police told the doctor to check the situation of Victor's family. They took them out of the car. They were fine. The doctor said it would take at least one hour to treat his son's wound, but there were only 40 minutes until it got dark. As the result, the leader can only decide to stay in the car. The police quickly drove Victor's family back to town, but the nail that they set up the trap caused the tire to explode. It's almost dark now, he told Victor's wife and daughter to hurry back to town. At this point, Stephen has already hung the stone on the car. Victor didn't understand why he did it. Stephen immediately explained to be safe. He was confused, then a loud sound was heard. Stevens then said they had already here. The crowd started to approach the car. 